The Dubao Taras attack with black. Today we're gonna see a brand new weapon. Well, it's not completely new, but almost new that will allow you to attack with black from more or less move one. And the good news is white has not figured out what to do against this yet. So black is scoring well and is having the initiative. So this is what you get and it's easy to learn. At the end of the video, you will be ready to play this down at the club. I promise you. So let's get into it. The dupe of Taurus attack with black. Here we go. It's we in this game for uh, kayaking dupe of. They start like this. It can start in any way. This is the terrace position. This is the main line of the terrace. This is how you get to these positions. And this has been known as sort of a little bit dubious black gets an isolated pawn here on d5. But uh, the, the thing with the Dubov is, let's use that as a sort of dynamic uh, attacking option. And, um, and here the main line, and this is what Kasparov did, was to play bishop e7, and there's a lot of theory, and in general, black is struggling a little bit. Uh, this pawn can be weak. This is exercising an almost power uh, over the center and, in, and into the d pawn. But uh, then Dubov came up with this. This has been played before, but it, um, it was supposed to just lose a pawn. So instead of putting the bishop on the passive square here, why black simply goes to the most active square and attack the knight here. And uh, notice that after something like this, black simply continues the attack with great position. Uh, this has, has not done well for white in practical play. So bishop e3 is not good. Uh, e3, of course, you can just take on d4 and play bishop b4 or something. Or you can even just take it. Uh, yeah, I think uh, with, the, with the bishop or play bishop d4 or something. That's not critical. So the critical move is either here. White has tried this move. Let's see that first. So as I said, black is going to get an attack in most lines and it's not easy to play for white. Actually, it's I, I, I don't know why I have not looked at this before. Uh, Dubov started playing it in nine, 2019 and, and it was actually an instant success. After something like this, um, white castle, castle, uh, this is uh, the game uh, Nestor of uh, Atusarov. It's a blitz game, but it shows uh, Black's potential. We see already there are serious trouble here. Um, and there is also, uh, the, and this coming, of course, Rook E8. And uh, if, if White plays very sort of uh, is, is careful here, you might also jump with the pawn here to soften. And often it actually goes all the way to this square uh, in some situation. Here, uh, and eyeing the bishop, Bishop here and White here blunders, but of course uh, he's under a serious pressure, and uh, I, I really like Black's position here. Uh, this pawn is hanging, so what to do about that? It's not so easy, right? Uh, and uh, even if he, he managed to to do this, you just take back with the pawn, and you have a great structure. You have good pieces. The bishop pair is not a big issue in this situation, and that's sort of the genius of Dubov uh, that he realized that uh, even though this is a very active, nice piece, bishop, uh, it can be exchanged you can uh, you can sort of do without it because white is weak on the white squares so as i said uh, in this video we will find a great attacking uh, weapon for black easy to learn easy to master you will be able to start playing it more or less immediately uh, so what's not to like and by the way, it can be played against c4, knight f3, and so on. You just play uh, d5, e6, e6, d5, c5, knight c6, and knight f6, and you're more or less ready to go. Here he played this move, and this runs into this move. Boom! Uh, of course, this is a blitz game. And check, and it's already pretty nasty. Um, and check here, and e3. And, well, black is, uh, is winning, and after... Something like notice that that he cannot go to f1 because the bishop is 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 cutting it off. But even if he could, that would be mate with knight h takes h2, and here, and it's made in two moves. So this is uh, or three moves if he, he sacrifice the queen. Uh, so this uh, knight takes c6 is not critical, of course. But what about this move? 
attacking the bishop and getting ready to win the pawn. And most of us will just stop looking here and uh, turn off the computer and look at something else. But this guy Dubov, he's pretty smart. Uh, too bad he's Russian <laughs> nowadays. They're not in, in big favor. Uh, cool guy. Here, um, White can take the pawn here. The, what Dubov realizes is after this move, uh, Black is actually uh, having a lot of initiative for the pawn. Uh, one of the big problems for, for, for white is uh, that something like, uh, like this that looks like a nice ending um, is, is actually uh, not so good because this is, is, is really serious uh, pressure here. And the best move here is actually to, to take here. And then we see, and this is something you will get in a lot of lines, that this white squared bishop is very strong. Uh, and and black will ha white will have problems on the white squares. And the, the knight is in general is very often dominated. Here, something like this is really, really unpleasant for black for white uh, he play, play something like this and white black will just castle due to the pin and uh, and follow up with something like this and this you don't care about you're playing for the initiative and to win material here so you're basically going to put the rook here give a check and give a check and boom it's all over so that's pretty nasty uh, white does not have to he can play something like this but even after something like this black is clearly uh, having a, a strong initiative uh, rook is coming uh, H pawn might coming, uh, F2 is weak, uh, E2 might be weak, and so on. And the queen does not have a good square. So this is also a nice initiative, at least for a practical game. Then there's something like this, and here this move is really annoying uh, for for White uh, because <laughs> the queen would not like to uh, to move and. And you think this, but here you run into the double attack. So we, we clearly see that Black has a great, uh, nice attacking position in these situations. Okay. Instead of that, it makes more sense to castle. Uh, white might play knight a4. It will be transposing. And here white, Black goes d4, knight a4, castle. And uh, this is more or less the main position. And, and the, the, the funny thing is just taking the pawn and going to the ending will not be good for, for white because this bishop is extremely strong when you give up this bishop. And, and that's probably much more worth much more than a pawn and a knight. So to uh, restate, uh, at the end of the video, you will be able to play this gambit uh, for black. Okay, the most common move here is to develop uh, the bishop getting the bishop out and uh, and and finish developing and later on you will take this one and, uh, and and maybe this one and this one and hope to 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 do something here the main move is rook e8 in in the recent game from the, from uh, he played he actually played this which is very provocative and they they went like this um, and and uh, and this ending it turns out was uh, was actually quite fine for uh, for white for, for black which is very very surprising uh, the problem for uh, is, is that you cannot simply uh, avoid losing your your pawns here and after something like this they uh, they took a draw uh, this was not very interesting and i don't like h6 it's just what dubo did recently it's it will be in the notes uh, for sure. Instead, rook e8, of course, makes sense. Uh, that's where you want the rook. And um, and here there was a there was a game Isipenko versus Abdul Sabarov. Um, he played rook e1, and after h6, something like this it looks a very natural. Queen takes d4. He played queen d8. Now, why do you play queen d8? That looks really weird. Uh, the thing is, you want to dominate the knight. Uh, notice that this one is having some problems here. This this move here will be a pretty annoying for, for black. And we can see that black is very active. Also, this pawn here will restrict the knight. And that's a big part of what black is doing uh, here. Uh, Isipengo, this was a blitz game, um, something like this. And, and here, something like this, black definitely have a very nice compensation in these kind of position um, just controlling the squares and and this ending and that's why i'm showing this game is actually nice for black 
who has uh, clearly a, a lot of initiative, and we see that the bishop is clearly dominating the knight. Uh, by the way, that's typical uh, that we see, uh, we understand why Dubov got the idea, because the Russian chess school is very much in favor of bishops over knights. Uh, okay, here, uh, and he took here, and this game uh, was, was won by, um, and, and the great uh, and very, very annoying, uh, so, and b5, uh, I thought it was a cool game, by the way. Good players, right? And why this move made a neck move? That was pretty fast. Um, you should check this out. The, the echo code is D33. Instead, this move uh, is um, the main move. Here, I'm uh, the only thing after something like this. Uh, Dubo recently played this move uh, and not the H6. I think H6 is just fine. Rook A4 is a little bit. Tricky. He played this in a blitz game against Kovalenko uh, this year, uh, and the game was pretty cool. And it also shows that it's. I, I think he has a lot of fun uh, analyzing this stuff. Uh, in the here, why should go e3 and will probably have an advantage um, with the bishop pair? Uh, I think the main line goes something like uh, like this, and and maybe. Uh, and and white has the bishop pair and is is of course better uh, against the knight, but it's it's a position you can lose, especially against a guy like like Dubov. Uh, but but black's king might get into trouble. Um, I, this is all in the notes. In the game, he played this move, and we we get to see what a really strong pawn here uh, actually means. Um, and by the way, this uh, Kovalenko guy, he's pretty strong. So, uh, and here he just went back. He secured the pawn on uh, on d4. And and we see that even though you you have this weird pawn structure and black, uh, white is, black is, uh, white is seriously cramped by the pawn. Um, and here he played this move, which turned out to be to just solve the issue immediately, and it turned out to be a total disaster after this move. And 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 black is is getting um, all the fun here. That was pretty cool, by the way. So you, it's not often you see a guy like uh, Kovalenko uh, running into this, this kind of things. And here he was checkmated. Uh, so now you're almost done. There is one line you have to know also that will will, and then we are all ready to to play this line. And that is in after this move, this move. Uh, as I said, the end game is supposed to be just fine for Black uh, if White takes uh, the pawn. Uh, but he can play here this move, and the idea behind this move is to get um, the bishop pair in an open position. Even though uh, Black has good pieces and uh, pressure on a2, uh, it still is a little bit annoying. But Black's idea is, is simply to is very ambitious. He plays d3 here, uh, and uh, and is hoping uh, this this pawn will be very strong uh, if. Is uh, he's allowed to 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 cover it with, with f5 without uh, giving any concession? This will be a really serious uh, problem for White. So, it, but White can take here, and you unfortunately have to take back with the d pawn. The computer absolutely loves this uh, after after this move. Uh, think Black is 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 just fine in in this situation. I um, I don't 
I don't like the structure, uh, but I, I don't think Dupo or mine. Uh, he, he don't care. And if, if the Indian says it's fine, then he's going to play it. Uh, and uh, and it's, it's definitely interesting. Black is definitely the one attacking here um, and will, will try to make this pawn into a powerhouse that will uh, ruin White's day. Um, anyway, this was uh, their dupe of uh, Gambit. By the way, uh, the, the you having the Terrace as an opening uh, in, in this series was uh, requested by one of our paying members. So it pays to be a paying member if you want to uh, decide what's coming here on GM Talks. I hope you enjoyed this and good luck with this Gambit. I kind of like it. I'm going to try it in Blitz uh, uh, later this uh, this week. Uh, I think it's, it looks a lot of, like a lot of fun to play this with Black. Thank you for watching.